So Meet MBA is an online networking and communication tool. That's the first tool that's been specifically designed for MBA admits, students and alumni. So finally, I looked at development partners and um, I reached out to 23 in total, uh, from India to Ukraine to London to Italy uh, to even Australia uh, to the Philippines. And uh, the overall process of that involved in initializing a discussion, opening up the debate, uh, getting onto a call with them and just seeing how they reacted to my, my specific idea and whether they felt like they would be able to help me for the budget that was, um, that was allocated for it. So SDX Next was one of the 23 people that I reached out to, 23 companies. I originally found them through their website on Google. They were very highly ranked and therefore that at least gave them a little bit of credibility for a company that was in a, a location that I'd never been to before. I had no experience of working with partners in Poland and having that credibility or having that testament to the quality of their work allowed me to, or gave me the confidence to reach out to them in the first place. Once I got on the very first call with STX Next, it was very clear that they had the knowledge, tools and experience to help my idea become a reality. So being able to speak with someone right from the start who knew about their team, who knew about the resources and the expertise of the people within their team made, uh, made it so much easier to progress things further. I've been very lucky along this whole process because the very reasons why I chose the type of company that I did actually came to fruition. One of the reasons was because they are the largest Python developer in Europe and therefore they have a huge amount of resource within the company that they can tap into at any particular point in time. This was incredibly valuable to me during the build phase. So we started off with a set number of developers. Given the challenges that we were facing, we were able to scale up instantly the following week we were able to add an additional developer. Two weeks after that we were able to move from one developer from one team to another team to help get the specific technical expertise that we needed for that particular problem and then move that developer back out again when that particular problem had been solved. At a much smaller firm that would have been very difficult and the answers would have been, well sorry we can't actually implement it in that way. So far there hasn't been any challenge that STX Next hasn't been able to overcome.